See, look at that, man. Three shotgun side crates right there. Just waiting for us to crack them open. Get all the juicy stuff inside. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Oh, no, no, good, no, good. Ah! <laughs> no, this is not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18 Build 155 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and I am back from my week and a half long trip to Las Vegas. So, uh, you guys, the video that you watched yesterday, which would have been uh, on Friday the 25th, was the last video that I pre-recorded before I went on my trip. It is now Wednesday night, the 23rd, and so I'm starting the next video after that. Uh, just, you know, to kind of get you, uh, get the chronological order of the time frame correct for you guys. Because if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, now on build 155, whereas I was on build 140-something, I think, uh, in those other pre-recorded episodes. So, uh, I am back, and happy to be back. I had a good trip and all that kind of stuff, and uh, just excited to play some more 7 Days tonight. So let's see. First of all, if you look on my toolbar and if you look in my inventory here, you'll see that I've got a bunch of stuff that uh, the durability is completely lost on it. So I am going to um, spawn in repair kits to fix those because that's not my fault. That's a bullshit thing in the game. Well, it's not really fair to call it a bullshit thing. It's ju it's just an update uh, you know, to, to the next build of experimental. <clears throat> However, it's not my fault though, that, um, you know, that I lost durability. So I'm going to spawn in some repair kits to fix those. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items that have completely lost their durability. 11, 12, 13, 14. So it looks like a total of 14 items have lost their durability for whatever reason the ak and the junk turret <clears throat> did not um so let's see so let's see we got to go to here and we've got to go to cm for creative menu all right and then we hit uh, the u key and we type in repair kit and i think i said 14 right okay so we'll spawn 14 of those in to fix the stuff that has completely lost its durability, and then we will we should be back <clears throat> in business uh, for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair all of that stuff. I don't remember, you know, how much durability was on before, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna we're just gonna repair it and call it good. Um, okay, so let's see. Our number one objective <clears throat> for uh, this episode is for us to figure out what we're going to do Horde Night, because it is now day seven. Let's pull all of this stuff out of here. Uh, that doesn't need to be repaired. Sounds like we got some wandering horde or something coming through. Um, yeah, so we got to figure out where we're going to do Horde Night. So that's our number one objective. And it's going to have to be... Um, <clears throat> didn't I already repair that? I guess I said it's going to have to be a uh, another POI, because I'm, you know, I just don't have nothing ready yet otherwise uh, to do that so okay so it looks like we're all repaired uh, and everything's back we're back in business as far as all that goes so my original plan uh, in the, the the last episode that I recorded before I left remember that it's been a, almost two weeks for me now we can have at least a week and a half uh, was we were gonna fix up the power station and do for day 14 there but uh, I looked at it and decided that it was not in good enough shape uh, to do that. So uh, we're kind of back to square one in terms of figuring out where we're actually going to go. So we may, depending upon where we go and what we need to do to get it ready, uh, that doesn't go in there. We might not have really time to come back here. Um, so I'm going to grab uh, a few supplies. Let's grab some of that and take it with us. So let's see. We've got some clay. Yeah, I think we're we're okay. Yeah, we're okay on that stuff. Um, I wanna I wanna make a bunch of bullets. Oh shit! All of this stuff lost its durability too. Weird. Okay. 
Um, well, I'm not gonna worry about that now, I guess. I might, I may even just, you know, take that one. I don't know, we'll see. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we're gonna do with this. If I decide to sell or use any of this stuff, I'll spawn in a repair kit to fix it. If I, if I don't, if I'm just gonna scrap it, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I'm not gonna do that right now anyway. We don't have time to mess with that right now. Okay, so we've got, uh, bandages here. We've got stuff to drink. Um, how is our food and water? We, we gotta get going here, because we don't have a lot of time. We got, we're, we're doing okay on both of those things. So I think I'm gonna let that go. Um, do, 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 do. we've got a new treasure map here that we need to do. So that'll be cool. But we'll worry about that later. So this guy can only have one mod, and it doesn't have a mod on it at all. This guy can probably have two mods, and what we... Can we put the this, with the weighted head thing on the spear? Let's take a look. Haha, -ha, we can. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that's going to... Um, a chance to stun and slow victims. Very nice. So we'll put that on our spear, which is also our melee weapon. Uh, anything else up here? We've got a... A semi-trigger mod, but we don't really need that. That's for making armor. Uh, we got the money. We got the money, honey. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I think we're ready, ready to go here. I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit out of sorts, guys, just because <laughs> I've been gone so long. Uh, 77 iron. Why do I have that iron? I think I was gonna make some iron bars with that. That's probably what that is. All right. I want to make some flagstone. Um, blocks. Let's just queue up, I don't know, like 50 of those. Oh, 40. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, then we're gonna need to make some more cobble. It's gonna say, wait a minute, we should be able to make a whole bunch more than that. Let's make, say, 500 cobble. Uh, because we may end up, you know, using that stuff, you know, to get ready for Horde Night. Okay, so we got our claw hammer, we got our pick, we got our shovel. Uh, yeah, I think we have everything we need. Okay. So, Order of business is we have to figure out where we are going to do Fortnite 14. We've got to pick a POI. Uh, do I have spikes? I got 62. How, how am I doing on wood? 268 wood. Uh, I just I don't think I have time to cut those trees down. Because uh, what I was thinking is I'd like to make a bunch of spikes up. Now let's let's not do that. I mean, if we have if we have a little bit of time right before Horde Night starts, and I can go out and chop some trees, I will. Now, here's something I was thinking about, and and we need to go look at this because I was just thinking about this when I was on my trip. Um, remember how in the very early episodes I was trying to break into the Shaka Messiah factory? <clears throat> I was thinking if we could find a spot on the front of that building to, uh, uh, don't think I want either one of those, because <clears throat> I'm making jars now, so jars are super easy to come by. Uh, anyway, I was thinking if we could actually figure out a, a place, a way to base up on there, the zombies might actually punch a hole into the Shotgun Messiah factory for us. Now we, you know, we do kind of run the risk of them ruining something in the process too. But uh, where is that factory? I think it's. I think we're heading right towards it. You know, they could they could maybe help us get through uh, that room that we wanted to try and get through. So let's head on over that way. Got our handy dandy junk turret. We aggroed somebody over there. Is there still a purse down here? Well, there's a backpack. Primitive bow. Hmm. Um. Nah. Nah. Too bad it wasn't a. A uh, you know, a which call it? A wooden bow, not a primitive. Okay, stripper lady's gonna give us some trouble here, I think. Oil company is a possibility for Horde Knight. I've thought th about that. I thought about the apartment buildings, the, the old ones. I've done Horde Knights on those before, and they hold up pretty good. Um, and I've done Horde Knights on the oil company, too. So either one of those are, are possibilities, if we want to. 
Uh, I've done the junkyard before. That would hold up probably for a day 14 horde. Alright, let's get by her. After horde night's over, I'm going to... Probably mostly off camera, if not entirely off camera. <clears throat> I'm planning on mining up a whole bunch of lead and a whole bunch of coal. So that I can uh, start making... Uh, gunpowder and ammo for my for my nine and of course you know getting brass too fortunately though they've made brass a lot easier to get in uh, alpha 18 here as you guys probably know if you've been playing it <clears throat> excuse me got a little frog in my throat today all right i shouldn't be messing around i, I really want to loot <laughs> i would like totally want to loot but we don't that's not our priority right now. We've gotta We gotta figure out how we're gonna survive the horde night. That's what we gotta do. Okay, so let's just kind of go over here and assess the situation with the shotgun messiah factory. Um it is, you know, very tough. It's a very tough building, so you know, one of the things I was thinking we could do is like camp out on top of that little roof there. Just as long as we don't have Zeke's, you know, dropping down on our head or something. That would not be desirable. Alright, let's see if we can sneak around businessman there. The, you know, the one thing too that's risky about this plan is, um, you know, we don't want to aggro the sleepers in the shotgun side factory because they are they're no bueno too but see this is the this is the part that i wanted to try and break into so we could get inside of there and get the loot you know that's in those uh that's in that silo there so my thought was you know do something right on just right on top of this roof here and this you know this will mostly be a passive defense it's not going to be um I mean, it's gonna be a—it's gonna be just survive. Not, I'm not gonna be actively killing a whole lot of them because I just—I don't have the ammo for that yet. We will get—we will get to that point though. We will definitely get to the point where we're making our own horde base and actively fighting and killing them. This is all like a metal roof here. They made it very, very tough to get into. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, let's grab our pick here. Is that just normal concrete? That's yeah, that's 2500 concrete. Oh, that's only 300. Really? That's only 300? Oh, you know what? Maybe this isn't so hard to break into after all. See, I don't think, if I remember right, I don't think the zombies, uh, you know, that there's any other way for them to get in here other than, you know, through that gap down there, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we've got blocks, right? So we could do something like this. Wow, I, I, I could have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I, I was thinking this whole silo was like the, you know, the, the 10,000 hit point steel. I didn't realize it was just 300 hit point stuff. All right, let's hop up here. See, look at that, man. Three shotgun side crates right there. Just waiting for us to crack them open, get all the juicy stuff inside. All right, let's see what we got. I need to invest some points into Lucky Looter. Oh shit, that's good. <laughs> Are they trying to break through like up there? I don't know where they're trying to break through. Well, let's hurry up here. I just don't want to punch him like through the side of this thing and then jump it on my head. That would not be good. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Including handgun parts.
We are also now, like, badly over encumbered. Oh, shit! Okay, here. Oh, no, not good, not good. Ah! <laughs> no, this is not good! This is not good. Um... Um, Houston? What do we do? Okay, let's quickly... Okay, so it's like they are stuck. Can't get through there or something. What's over here? Hmm. Here, let's put that there. All right. I am. Um, 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 what do we do? What do we do? Let's get our axe back out. I don't want to take any... You know what? We're not going to use the crossbow at the moment. So let's pick that back up. No, 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 no. Hit the thing. I can't... There. What the hell? Oh, the glass panels lost their support. That's interesting. Do they not, like, know I'm right here? They, they mustn't, their AI must not think they can path over this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now they're after me. Hey, hey, hey! I don't have my, um... I don't have my, um... My junk turn on my tool belt. Whew! Okay. That was intense. Um... I'm, like, super encumbered here. <laughs> super encumbered. Uh, you know what we should probably do is we should probably put a chest down for now. I don't want to put my stuff in a car because I've done that before and then zombies hit and blow it up and you lose it all. Oh, okay, that was intense. Let's craft a chest here. Hey, hey, hey! I thought there was another buzzard around. Son of a bitch. We better take a... So medi medical attention here. We're going to find ourselves dying. Phew. Okay. Um, what were we saying? We could actually, we could stash stuff in a bird's nest. Got two bird's nests here. They're both empty. Zombies aren't going to blow them up. Yeah, you know what though? There's not enough room. And I already made a a thing anyway. I'm like totally nervous looking over my shoulder here. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that back. So those guys busted through up above, didn't they? There, let's keep that on our tool belt. Belt. They busted a bunch of blocks there as well. Fortunately, they didn't bust the ladder. This is where they came through. Yeah, you know why? Because I think there's a bunch of them that hang out on that ledge. Okay. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess we don't have a ladder to get up there, do we? Yeah, because we ha I think we have to come through from down below. I can't 
really get a headshot off on this guy. Oh, this is not really good, actually. No, that's not good at all. Is he dead? Ah, crap. I don't think he's dead. Oh, he is now. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. I forgot I, there's not a ladder to get up there. Hmm. Well, we can make our own ladder, or we can... Whoa, shit! Where did you come from? You must be coming around from the uh, ledge there still. Goodness gracious. Any more? Okay, we got another buzzer that's going to try and attack me now. I'm not sure exactly where those guys came from. Did they come? Uh, they must have come from out of there. That's what they did. Okay. Well, all right. Um, this tower itself, as we have now seen, is not very strong. And again, had I known that back in that first or that real early episode, I would have punched in here a long time ago. I wonder what that floor is like, though, because there's more crates up there. Let's make some more wood frames. Let's make about 30 more of those. Okay, and then what we're going to do is hop on up there. We better take another bandage. If I have time, I might r try and run back to the base and replenish that on that stuff. Okay, so what is this material here? the 300 steel. Hmm. See, so yeah, there's a crate up there. Okay, let's make sure we're centered. Just need to be able to get up to that next area. Okay, and then there's a ladder going up even higher there. Buzzer's making me a little nervous. Whoa, what's that? How many 762 rounds do we have left? Oh, we probably better reload, huh? That's interesting looking. Oh, that's a... Wait a minute. What is that? It's a red and black hinge on that door. That's peculiar. Okay, let's pop this guy open. Yeah, I know. I haven't forgotten. We're supposed to be preparing for Horde Night, but... Oh, come on. I mean, repair kits are awesome and all, but... That's not what we want. Um, let's put a spike in front of here. Just in case. So it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Another door, and then just like that little groove in the ceiling there. Barrel extender mod. Can we put one or two mods on these, I think? 
just one, huh? What does this do? Increases damage, range, and aimed accuracy, but makes a weapon more willing to fire for the hip. Nah, I don't think we want that on this weapon. That would be good for like a sniper rifle or a hunting rifle. Um, but we'll we'll take it though. I mean, it's a nice mod to have. Okay, well, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else for us to get out of here. Um, we don't want to go up on the roof because the roof of this place is downright scary. So let's head on back down. If we don't want buzzards attacking us, we have to be back to full health. So let's take that last bandage. We're going to have to go back to the house and get more bandages. That's all there is to it. Let's very slowly elevator back down or nerd pull. Because if you do it too fast, you can take damage. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. We we could <clears throat> we could do Horde Knight here, but there's you know kind of my main reason for doing that. We no longer have that reason. So, hmm. I wonder if all the sleepers are cleared out of this area up here now that we have riled them up. I think I can put a block there because there's a half block. I'm probably going to get myself killed. So this is the area above the lobby. <laughs> um. See, the thing is, though, this is just really isn't secure because if they can get, you know, to the other side of that fence, then they could get to us. Plus, I'm not sure what's around this corner, if there's more vultures or... um you know, uh, more sleepers. But we did, I mean, we did pull a bunch of them, so it could be that they're all gone now. Nope, there's buzzards right there. Doity rotten buzzards. <clears throat> okay. I don't know, guys. I, I, I don't think this is a good idea. I mean... We might be able to make it work, but the play, the place that we're choosing to do Horde Knight is one of the most dangerous POIs in the whole damn game. <laughs> Ooh, there's another shotgun Messiah crate. Look at that, look at that. I mean, we, we could secure this side by busting out the catwalk so they couldn't get to us, but... This is the side that we can't really secure. Plus, if they can, you know, if they can get above us, they could bust down through the floor. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. So let's grab these. I mean, if I guess if I hunkered down just on this roof and didn't move all night, I probably would survive. But we don't have any shelter from buzzards, though, either is the thing. If we get horde buzzards. So let's do this. Let's grab our stuff. Let's run back to the house, grab another set of bandages, and then we're probably just going to do the apartment building, uh, that building right there, because that one's easy to, you know, to secure. Uh, and we can secure it quickly. So let's just grab that and run back home real quick. What time is it? It's 1421. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be 
without bandages. We've got to have some bandages. But you know what? Two, we're out of time, aren't we? I forgot about that. We're out of time. So guys, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the house, get some bandages, drop all this stuff off, and then get uh, the apartment building secured for a horde night. I will bring you back in the next episode for probably the tail end of getting the place ready to go right before horde night starts, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to leave a, a comment and share out the video. Those things do help the channel. I do really appreciate it. I'm glad to be back and looking forward to playing some more 7 Days Die on Alpha 18. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.